Tobacco is a regulated product here in Idaho, which means that vendors need a permit in order to sell it. That is right, but unlike companies that sell beer, tobacco outlets are getting a free ride from the state. We're on your side tonight to explain how your tax dollars are subsidizing the spread of a cancer-causing product. J.J. Hassan is one of many business people in Idaho who pays permit fees to do her job. It costs her $60 a year just to cut hair. And she was surprised to learn who pays nothing. The tobacco companies? That's right. Anybody who owns a brick and mortar business can apply for a tobacco uh, retail license. Um, and it doesn't cost anything to obtain a license. There are more than 1,600 tobacco outlets in the state of Idaho. They all must have permits, but taxpayer dollars pay for that, as well as the yearly inspections to make sure outlets aren't selling to minors. The cost? $300,000. We just shouldn't be doing that. It's the wrong thing to do. I don't think taxpayers should be on the hook for paying the costs of retailing tobacco. So State Representative Elliot Work tried to pass legislation last year to level the playing field. It quickly died in committee, and he speculates why. You know, they've hired uh, high-powered lobbyists, uh, and they are very effective at uh, squelching changes. That makes me a little upset. It's not really... Um, fair. Everybody should have to follow the same rules. Apparently, the powers that be in the state legislature disagree. Now, on top of all this, work tells me that about a third of the money that is used to pay for these free tobacco permits are actually from tobacco settlement funds, which, as we know, are supposed to be used for anti-tobacco programs. So it's almost a double whammy is what you're talking it about. It really is. Is there any chance that some legislation could come up again? Is Elliot Work going to try and... It certainly is possible, but as he said, you know, there's a big lobbying effort against all this. Interesting. Mm. Thanks.